Okay. Um, here is the scenario I want to show you. Um, so we, on the left side, we have a Kubernetes cluster um, provided by Gardner, our Kubernetes as a service solution. And on the right side, we have an existing Cloud Foundry installation with a service fabric deployment, which can uh, provide some Postgres instances managed by Bosch. So in our scenario, we are a developer on Kubernetes and just want to, um, to use a Postgres instance, in this case, um, provided by Service Fabric. And, um, but unfortunately, there is no public endpoint to the Postgres database. So there's no easy way to access it. And we don't want to set up um, a Postgres on Kubernetes, like just like uh, Jules showed, the, the YAML involved can get uh, very soon, very ugly. So we just want to reuse the existing Postgres that we have. And for that case, we use the service manager um, and pro uh, provision um, an instance on Cloud Foundry side. And on the way, when we provision it, we set up a Istio configuration on both platforms, so on, Kubernetes, uh, on Cloud Foundry side and on um, Kubernetes side in that way that we later on um, can access the Postgres directly, not using the service manager anymore. And that I uh, just want to show you in a short demo. So in, on the, um, the terminal on the top, we have uh, Kubernetes, and on the bottom, we have Cloud Foundry. And um, a short notice, um, this is live. I've just scripted the, um, the commands because I'm very bad in typing and uh, speaking at the same time. So I decided to, to script it beforehand. Uh, and then have a look. And first thing is we just um, deploy the, the, the pod. So like Jules showed earlier, I just um, push the image up front so I can just um, start the, the application. And then we have a look at the application. And it says it, there's an error. So let's have a uh, closer look at the error. And it says that uh, secrets Postgres not found. That's basically the Kubernetes way of saying uh, there's no binding for it. So the credentials to the database to connect to is missing. So we just need to create uh, and bind a service, but how to do this on Kubernetes? So on Cloud Foundry, that would be quite straightforward. We would just uh, log in to, we can just log in to Cloud Foundry. And then um, ask the marketplace what the service fabric provides us for services. And there we see um, that there is some Postgres. So we can just create an instance and then, then bind the service for it. But uh, here comes the service manager in place, where the service manager is, uh, connects several service broker and several platforms to each other. And then we, uh, now we have just a look which platforms are registered in our service manager. And we see there are several platforms, so most of them Kubernetes, but also some Cloud Foundry platforms. And the one of interest is this one. So this is the demo cluster in, we are connected in the other terminal. And then um, we have a look which service brokers are connected to our service manager. And there we see that there is a broker, uh, Istio broker, which is basically the service fabric plus the Istio configuration so we can uh, provide it, we consume the services from Kubernetes side. So with that, we can just uh, ask the service, um, service catalog which services we can uh, use on Kubernetes side. And then we see the same, same uh, list. 
So we can just, uh, just create a service, or how it's called on Kubernetes provision a service. And uh, one thing to note here is that we use a dev plan. So it's basically just a container and no, uh, no Bosch manage instance, which would take uh, one or two minutes. So this instance should already be there, hopefully. And then we see the instance is ready and we can just bind it. And then the binding, have a look at the binding, and the binding is there as well. So we can have a look at the credentials that were created to access the database. And here we see that there is some private IP, because like I mentioned, there is no public endpoint for the Postgres database but there's no way that this private IP points to the Postgres instance in totally different platform. So let's have a look where this IP is actually belonging to. And then we just look for the services in our namespace. And we see uh, one minute ago we have created a service with this specific IP. And we set up the Istio configuration in a way that every traffic that is targeting to what this IP is um, routed to the Cloud Foundry platform and there uh, to the Postgres instances we just created. So with that, we can have a look at our app. And now that the secrets are there, it should uh, start and it's running in the meantime. So we can even access uh, the database and for our demo for this demo application it just checks with which version of Postgres is is used and then we see that the uh, Postgres is actually um, uh, accessed and with that I would just already finish the demo and if you want if you are interested in more details or um, have any questions just join me tomorrow in the demo theater at 1240, or have a look um, at GitHub. Everything I've showed you is open source, so you can just have a look yourself or get in contact with the corresponding team. So thank you, and have a nice day. <laughs>